COVID-19 pandemic is concerning. As journalists, we're focused on the facts, not fear. Our Jennifer Pignante spoke with a local doctor to get answers to your questions. Joining us once again to answer your questions, Dr. Gary Berner with the Community Clinic of Northwest Arkansas. Dr. Berner, thanks so much once again for your time. Absolutely. Happy to be here. Thank you. First of all, how is the clinic holding up? How are doctors and nurses and has the amount of tests been increasing so far? We're holding up. Um, a lot of our team has just been really resilient in this uh, time period, uh, just shown incredible flexibility. Uh, we are, you know, if not hourly, certainly by the day, making changes in our clinic and our clinic processes. We had had one of our outdoor testing treatment sites in Prairie Grove, and we've moved that over to our Fayetteville Clinic just to accommodate the uh, community needs. Um, we're increasing our services, adding another outdoor site in Springdale at our main campus there as well. So our, our providers, our nurses, our medical assistants have just been really flexible. And, you know, we're sharing the same fear and anxiety uh, of the unknown and of the current concerns as the rest of the community. So just really been impressed with our team um, and at Community Clinic, but of course across Northwest Arkansas with Regional and Mercy and, and Northwest at how we're responding to the coronavirus pandemic. In terms of testing, we continue to really see that ramped up. I believe I saw this morning that 16 patients um, were confirmed positive in Washington County. But um, we are aware that there's likely uh, significantly more to come. Quite a few folks that have been tested, very likely to be positive, but that result just isn't back yet. Um, so certainly the number of tests we're sending out have increased. A question that we're getting a lot from viewers, they're unclear on this one. People are being told to stay home, but also they're being told it's okay to go outside for walks. Can you explain how it's safe to be outside? Absolutely. You know, in some ways, in a socially distance, not being around other people, being outdoors um, provides a lot of safety because of the air movement. Indoors, unless you're in a hospital with what we call a negative air pressure room um, that's actively uh, sucking the air out of the room, um, outdoors is a safe place to be because of that continuous uh, airflow and movement. That's why at Community Clinic we've set up testing sites and, and treatment sites that are outdoors because we have that constant airflow movement as opposed to being indoors in a small patient room with someone uh, that could have potentially coughed and those respiratory secretions may stay in the room. So, in terms of being outdoors and what's safe and what's unsafe, um, what I would recommend doing, you know, going for walks, but doing that in small groups and the per people that you live with. Um, not, you know, joining up with other families or uh, joining up with your friends to go on a group walk together, uh, but keeping that same social distancing approach that you do indoors, outdoors as well. So, if you live uh, with three people, that would seem very reasonable for that small group to go um, on a walk together. However, I would not recommend joining up with other families and having a group outing together um, as sometimes we're seeing. Thank you once again for your time and your knowledge with COVID-19. Absolutely. We're happy to help anyway. Give us a call if you need anything. Thanks so much.